Hey all, Noons here. Welcome back to Noons Airborne RC. And if it's your first time here, smash that like and subscribe button so you can get notified for future content. And if you're a long time viewer, subscriber, welcome back to the hangar y'all. Well, today is part three of the series. We already went ahead and unboxed our model. We assembled our model. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, do the mixing and the stuff that we're going to need for the canards. So let's go and let's roll that intro. Get some! All right, and we're back. And I have my iX12 here. And the reason why I'm using my iX12 is I had a spare receiver, and you'll go ahead and see that in a minute when we move to the plane. But the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to set up our model. So I'm going to hit here, proceed. Add new model, default, airplane, and create. And like usual, you hear the parakeet singing. Some reason, every time I do videos, I think he's just sitting there thinking I'm talking to him. All right. So now we got our new model. So I'm going to go ahead and name this the S, sorry, J A S symbol. I can find it. There we go. And I delete that. 39. I'm all thumbs. Gripping. All right. And I think I got a pretty picture over here. Right there. And I have an eight channel receiver, so I want to look at eight channels. All right. So now we got our basic model. We haven't done anything with it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to change the aircraft type. Because it is a delta wing. So we're going to go ahead and select wing. We're going to go ahead and select elevon. And Elevon, and we're going to leave the tail normal. Right. Now if I slide over, you notice it's changed. We have throttle, right aileron, left aileron, rudder, gear, flap. I'm not going to go ahead and use. I'm going to leave that port empty on the plane. And I'm going to use AUX2 and AUX3 for the canards. So now let's go ahead and move on to the plane so we can do our mixing for the canards. All right. So now that we have our basic model set up in the iX12, let me go ahead and show you what I did off camera before we start doing the mixing. All right, so we have our AR8360T, our eight channel safe AS3X receiver. I went ahead and I built a little plate for mounting right here. It is elevated, so if the tire has to turn when the gear is retracted, it still has room. We still have to do placement of our antennas, but that's not the point here. We're going to go ahead and do the mixing for the canards, so let's get started. All right, so if you guys remember, I put my AUX2 and my AUX3 uh, for my canards. But you notice how AUX2 and AUX3 doesn't move when I'm moving my surfaces. They're basically, AUX2 is on my switch B. And AUX3 is on the rotary dial on uh, switch H. So the first thing we got to do on the iX12 is we'll go to model setup, channel assign, long press. And we're going to go ahead and take AUX2 and we're going to inhibit. And AUX3, we're going to inhibit that as well. So now those two channels are not attached to any switch. Now that we got that done, let's go over here. You notice how this canard is almost level, but that one is not. 
So we're going to go ahead and fix that mechanically, but let's go ahead and do our mixing first. This is going to require four mixes. Each canard is going to require two mixes each, one for the aileron and one for the elevator. All right, so the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to set up our mixing. We're going to go to mixing, and we're going to go over here. We're going to start our first one. We're going to want a normal curve. And the IX12 is a little different from the DX series, and I will go ahead and show you why. First thing we want to do is what do we want to use as the input, which will be the aileron. We're going to set up our aileron first. And what do we want to put it to? Well, our aux 2 is where we're going to start. Now, a few things you're going to want to go ahead and do is your switch. You want to make this on. If you don't have it on, nothing's going to move. And trim, you want to select that. So when you trim your ailerons, it's going to trim the surface too. Next thing is going to be the rate. So... We're going to go ahead and move our rate over here. And if you notice, well now when I give it left aileron, we got this moving right here. Okay? Now, you're going to go ahead and move it plus or minus, depending on which way it's moving. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom this out. Alright, if you guys can see... I got it set at a plus 100. So now when I go this way, you notice my canard is not moving because that requires the other mix, okay? So as you can see, when I go to the left, that canard is moving. You see that? So what you want is you want this to move opposite from this surface or the same. And when I mean the same, don't pay attention to the front. If this um, aileron goes down, you want this back side to go down. If this goes up, you want this to go up. So when I move it, you notice it's going the opposite directions. So to fix that, we're gonna go ahead and grab our slider, and we're gonna move that over here to negative 100. Now when I move it, it's moving the same way as that guy right there. I don't care that this doesn't return a zero. I'm going to show you guys how to fix that mechanically. But that's how you go ahead and you set up that mix for this aileron right here. Now, to go ahead and make it move the other way, we're going to move this slider the same direction. So let's bring this back. Oop, we got it selected on the wrong one. You really got to pay attention when you're doing this. So now I have both my sliders at neg 100. Now this should move when I want that to move. So up and up, down and down. Now we have this canard mixed with just the aileron. You notice it does not move with the elevator. So now let's go ahead and do the same thing to the other guy. Trims are on and it's on. And there we go. Now we're gonna back out. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. And now we have that mix. So now let's go ahead and do the aileron mix for the other side. Hopefully you guys can see this. Same thing, we're gonna take input from our aileron, but this time we want aux three. We want our trim on, and we want that selected on. Now we're gonna go ahead and give it our rate. So the other side was a negative, so let's start with the negative here. Remember what I said, y'all. If this goes down, you want this to go down. Down, down. We don't have any up on there because we need to go ahead and put our next guy to neg 100 as well. And then again, right there, I slipped up. All right. So now... When this goes up, this should go up. And when this goes down, this should go down. Now we have our canards on the mix right there. And we have our trim feature to on and we have it set on. So we'll back out. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the elevators, all right? So we have two mixes right now, as you can see, mix one for aux two for aileron, uh, sorry, mix one for aux two aileron, mix two 
for the aux 3 to aileron. So now we're going to go ahead and do the elevator, which is basically going to be the same exact thing, except one difference is our input. Now we want our input from our elevator. And we're going to go ahead and start off with aux 2. Remember, trim feature set on. And the switch, we're going to just put it to on. Now we're going to go ahead, let's see what it does at neg 94. So over here on 100, this is going to make the airplane tip up. Go up. But you notice this, this is going to make the plane tip down. So we need to go to neg 100. Neg 100, neg 100. Now when this goes to tilt the plane up, so does this. You gotta understand, this is gonna kinda work backwards because the wind's coming down underneath it now which is gonna lift the plane up. That's gonna tip the plane down, okay? So now we have, on this side, we have our aileron and now we have our elevator. Okay, trims uh, on and the switch is on. Now we got to go ahead and do our last mix. Our fourth one, it's going to be a normal curve. We're going to select elevator and this time we're going to go to aux 3. Trim feature on and the switch on. Now we're going to go ahead and set both of them to neg 100 neg 100 just to see where we're falling. So now I go back. You notice it's going backwards from that side. So let's go ahead and go plus 100. On that side. So now when I want to go up, she's going to go up. When I want to go down, she's going to go ahead and go down. And that's pretty much how you do the mixing on the plane. Now the mixing is done. All these are centered zero. Now let's go ahead and show you how you mechanically zero a canard that is not set up properly with the servo linkage. All right, we're back y'all. So you notice I went ahead and I flipped uh, over the plane and I have the gear retracted. A lot of people think that the assembly is right in that plate in the top, but it's not. If you're familiar with gear, which I know y'all are, the adjustment is right here. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. They have that little adjustment screw just like the gear. Maybe I can show it better on that side. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna loosen up that bolt and slide in that wire right there until you can go ahead and get a mechanical zero and then anything else that you need to do on it, you can go ahead and use your sub trim. But I wouldn't use the sub trim too much because that takes away from your throw. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go loosen up this screw, which is gonna loosen up this canard, as you can see. And I just took it out of the hole because I am a freaking genius. Let me see if I can get it in there without swearing. All right, we're gonna pause and I'm gonna be right back with some pliers. All right, I got my pliers and now I'm gonna try and feed it in through that hole. Well up. So let's go ahead and we're gonna hold this right here in the front to make it as even as possible and we're gonna tighten that screw back down and there you go and that is nice and flat and zero right there y'all the other side we can go ahead and touch that up a little bit more and that's it so let's go ahead and turn her over
And now you can see both canards are leveled out. And that's about it. So now that we got all this set up, we'll go ahead and talk about where we have our throws. All right, y'all. So that's pretty much how I went ahead and I set it up now for dual rates. What I went ahead and did is I set it up using the low rates as per Motion RC's recommendation. I'll go ahead and clue that in here. And I went ahead and I set me, and that's my max rate. So my max rate is the manual's low rate. And I went ahead and I set me um, aileron dual rates and elevator dual rates on separate switches. And I have it at 100%, 85, and 70. That way I can go ahead and maybe I want more elevator than aileron or more aileron than elevator. So I'll go ahead and get that set up and I'll report back to you. We're going to go ahead and do the Maiden on the brand new Graphene 4000 um, 6S batteries from RC Jetworks. The Maiden is going to go down tomorrow. And you, hopefully you all can go ahead and tune in and we'll get this bad boy up in the air. Another uh, caveat is when you're going ahead and you're setting up your delta wing, if you have your ailerons are backwards, you'll notice when you reverse both channels, it just goes ahead and it gives it elevator. So to go ahead and fix that, you want to go ahead and switch your two um, leads for your uh, ailerons and you want to flip them around and you'll be good to go. I had to do that on this model right here. So once again, my high rates are the book's low rates and I got dual rates on elevator and elevon for 100, 85, and 70. Hopefully y'all could join in for the maiden. Noon's out. Get some.